physics penguin. Hello and welcome to Physics Penguin's Guide to Power Part 1. We're going to look at what power is and two ways to calculate the electric power in a circuit. Finally, we're going to have a look at the electric power of some everyday devices. So, what is power? Well, if you look at this picture, you can see some old steps made out of stone. You can see that they must have seen a lot of use because the steps are worn down by thousands of feet walking up and down them. It takes a lot of energy to wear away stone like this, but if you have a lot of time, then even just stepping on the stones will gradually wear them away. Now, we could have worn the steps away much quicker with some sort of industrial grinder. That would use the same amount of energy, but deliver it far quicker. Power is the rate of transferring useful energy. Foot power is pretty low, a grinder is high power, and explosives would be very high power. This example doesn't have anything to do with electricity though, so let's think about an electric example. Imagine a dim bulb and a bright bulb. Which one gives more light energy per second? Well, it's got to be the bright one, hasn't it? So what makes a bulb bright? To make a bulb brighter, it needs more current or a higher potential difference or voltage. Electric power in watts is equal to current in amps times PD in volts. P equals IV. Let's take an old-fashioned filament lamp. If this bulb has a current of a quarter of an amp when you connect it to 240 volts of PD, what will be its power? Well... P equals I times V, so power is a quarter times 240. And a quarter times 240 is 60 W. What is the unit of power? It's not a question. What is the unit of power? Because it's named after James Watt. Ha 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 ha! That's just hilarious. Physics joke, never mind. Hold your horse, though, my little knowledge Vikings. We already have another formula that looks similar. P equals IV, but before we had V equals IR. V equals IR is Ohm's law, and we can use this too. So let's get V from the first equation and swap it for the bit out of the second equation. V equals IR. That will give us power equals I times I R instead of V. I times I is I squared. So the final formula will be power is I squared times R. So which do you use? Well, just look at the information you get. If you've got V, use the first form. If you don't, try the second. What's the difference between a high-powered loudspeaker and a low-powered one? What about a high-powered bulb and a low-powered bulb? What about cooking with an E-class high-powered microwave versus a B-class low-power one? Well, it should be fairly obvious. High-power speakers are louder. High-power bulbs are brighter. And high-power microwave ovens are quicker to cook food. More energy means more work being done. Is high power always better? Well, no. This sculptor is using a low power carving method to make his statue. He could wrap high explosives around the rock and hope for the best, but it's unlikely to produce anything good. It can be hard to control high powers, so we often finish manufacturing by hand even now, because although slower you'll get a higher quality final item. I think it's time for you to try some power calculations yourself. If you pause the video here, there is a worksheet linked in the description. We can go through it once you've done it by unpausing. 
See you in a few minutes. Welcome back. Let's have a look at those questions. Question 1 is a calculation of power, so it must use P equals IV or P equals I squared R. We want I, but we have P and V, so the first formula is going to be the one to use. We can rearrange the formula like this. P equals IV, so the maximum current we will have is when the power is 2000 watts. And V is always 230 volts, so 2000 equals I times 230. So I, current, is 2000 divided by 230, which is unfortunately 8.6956, etc., etc. But just how many places of decimals do we write? Well, look at the question. It uses two significant figures at most and only then just for the PD. So let's do the same here. Let's round the answer up and call that 8.7 amps. Yes, that seems better. Question two just wants to know the formula for electric power. Well, that's P equals IV or P equals I squared R. Now you could use power equals work done divided by time two since that works for power including electricity, but I don't think that's what the question expects. Question 3 looks a bit harder. We have current and two resistances, and we want the PD and the power. First, we need just one value for total resistance. So just add up those two resistors. It's 20 and there's 10, so that's 30 ohms. Now we can do the PD. V equals I times R. And I is 0.4 and R we now know is 30 ohms. 0.4 times 30 equals 12 volts. So the PD is 12 volts. Now P equals IV or I squared R. And we could use either. But if we got the answer to the first part wrong, it would be safer to use the second formula that doesn't need R. So that would be P equals 0.4 squared, uh, then multiply by 30 ohms. This makes 4.8 watts. Let's just use the other method to check. P equals IV, so 0.4 times 12 equals 4.8 watts. Yes, it is the same. Question 4 wants current from PD and power. So that is using P equals IV. In this case, I equals P divided by V. Or 1127 divided by 230. And that's just 4.9 amps. Question 5 is a table to fill. Uh, we need both formula for this. And also, V equals IR, Ohm's Law. If you're not sure about this, check back the early videos. Line 1, we have V and R. So first, let's get I using V equals IR. Or in this case, I is V divided by R. Well, that's 10 divided by 10, which is 1. So I is 1 amp. We can then use P equals IV to get power. 1 times 10 is 10 watts. In the second line, we need R and P. So use V equals IR to get R first. So R equals V over I, which is 230 over 2, or 115 ohms. Then use P equals IV to get P. Well, P is 2 times 230 which is 460 watts. The third line needs R and I, so we can't start with V equals IR because we don't know two of those things. But we can use P equals IV to get I. I is P divided by V, and P is 24, with V being 12. 24 divided by 12 equals 2 amps, so the current is going to be 2 amps. Now we can use V equals IR, so R will be V divided by I, which has become 
12 divided by 2, which is 6 ohms. The fourth line, we need V and P, so use V equals IR first to get the PD. V equals 3 times 20, which is 60 volts. Then we can use P equals IV, so P equals 3 times 60, which is 180 watts. And the final line is wanting R and I again, so let's use P equals IV to get I first. I is P divided by V, which is 60 divided by 24. Be careful here, that's one quarter of an amp. If you got four, you did it the wrong way around. Now use V equals IR to get R. R is V over I. So that will be 240 divided by a quarter. Now, when you divide a number by a fraction, just turn the fraction upside down and multiply. So that becomes 240 times 4 over 1, which is 960 volts. Alternatively, just use a calculator. Well, that looks like it for this week. Thanks for getting this far. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the next video being ready. Stay safe and ta-ta from Physics Penguin. Physics Penguin.